Hey guys, this is Effective Kill for a quick review. Sorry for the bad camera work, but I have been unable to purchase a new one due to the fact that I don't have money. Because I recently picked up the game Alice Madness Returns, and that, this, that is what this video is about. Alice Madness Returns is a very interesting game that uh, takes place basically in Alice's uh, Wonderland. Taking place after the first game where her family were completely burned alive. She had lost her sanity and was trying to regain it through the help of a psychiatrist who was telling her to forget everything. But sooner or later, she delves right back into Wonderland, having to save it yet again. The story is, so far, as I've gotten through it, amazing. I'm only on Chapter 2, and I have probably played the game for maybe 5-6 hours, and I'm only on Chapter 2 of 6. That shows you the exact length. Or it could be just I'm scouring every level, looking for every secret possible. I can tell you the exact length of each chapter is about 6 hours. So, at most, you got about a 36-hour game, if it's all 6 hours. Other than that, the environments look very good. It's a very dark, bleak feel. For example, when you go and the Hatter's Domain, it has a very, very mechanized feel, but when you go into the Ice Wasteland in the second level, in the first part, it has just the cold feel of the wasteland. It's very amazing. The enemies fit the type. You have to constantly change your strategy while fighting enemies in large groups. Smaller groups you can easily just use, for example, the Thorpe Blade, the first weapon. I completely upgraded it. It's one of the best weapons in my opinion. For example, you get the Thorpal Blade, a long range spice rack weapon, and even something as a horse that you can slam into the ground and breaks the blocks of enemies. The gameplay is, as I've said, simplified, easy enough, but complicated enough for when you fight larger groups of enemies or bosses. It's not extremely tough, and you won't throw your controller raging like Mortal Kombat versus Shao Kahn. Now, let's see. Enjoyability. I, as I said, enjoy this game heavily. I am a person who enjoyed the Alan Wake franchise, which is what I'm calling it for whenever the second game comes out. I enjoyed that game heavily, and I'd actually recommend picking up this game if you enjoy story-based games. Um, the reviews for this have been a little mediocre, but so have the reviews for Duke, but I kind of agree with Duke. For a short review of Duke, uh, watch my next video where I'll be reviewing it for a short amount of time. Just for a quick preview, it's not good in my opinion. It's very boring. But Alice, overall I give it an 8 out of 10. Some graphical glitches do stop it. The loading times are almost absent. Only when you're going into a new large area does it ever load. So other than that, pick it up. And uh, uh, the Dead Space uh, gameplay video stuff, we're still looking for people who would like to be involved. So far we have about 5 people. It'd be great to get more of, uh, more of my subscribers and community involved. So see you there guys.